you guys know really that I do, you know, immediate reaction videos for football games, but this is billed as the most anticipated regular season game this year. Especially, I think it was a, a step above the Rams and the, um, the Eagles from last week. This is your boy CJ Goodfella back with the Box Clinic and more. And welcome to anybody that's new to the page. Don't let the name fool you. We do more than boxing. But uh, we did a breakdown prediction. I picked uh, New England. Um, I just trust in New England's coaching staff and defense a little bit more. And I trusted Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh has, a, uh, you know, let me say this. They have an outstanding offense. Ben Roethlisberger is really... Uh, you know, got into a playing shape and got into a groove, and he's he's operating, you know. He's looking like a surgeon out there, you know. In the beginning, he was looking lethargic. He was looking, like, out of whack. Like, you could tell he didn't go through a full training camp or come in shape or dealing with some injuries. But, you know, this game was, you know, emotional roller coaster. You know, A.B. got hurt. I heard he got a torn calf muscle. I don't know the time frame on that, but I do know next week he's already been ruled out. Um, Jacksonville now can make a move and jump uh, Pittsburgh and, Somehow, Blake Broyles, Blake Broyles is playing on a, on a higher level right now. It is a contract year for him. Um, he's making no-name receivers, name receivers now. And let, they let Leonard Fournette get healthy. And I believe they can be a dark horse in the AFC. But, um, you know, to the game, you know, you know, started out, um, you know, they both came out and scored pretty quickly. New England came, you know, Pittsburgh got the ball, punted it, I believe, in New England. New England came down surgically, um, you know, Pearson. You know, in Pittsburgh, mixing up on defense, they played some zone. You know, they zone blitz. They played some man. They felt they had the capabilities and the manpower to man up uh, this time. And it worked sometimes. You know, they got hands on the receivers and jammed the routes up. And they made it interesting on the New England receivers. Um, you know, people looking for Kenny Britt to step up today. You know, he didn't step up with Cleveland. I had no expectations for him. If Michael Floyd can do it, pretty much Kenny Britt can't do it over there. Philip Dorsett had a couple early catches. Um, I thought he potentially could be a factor with New England, but I don't like he fitting in. Um, you know, Danny Ambonola had some catches. Uh, Burkhead did get injured as well. I said A.B. got injured. Um, but it was the, the Brady the Gronk show, you know. And, you know, Pittsburgh tried everything. Like Skip Baylor said in his little post, Facebook Live, said Mike Tyler's specialty is defense, and he can't figure out how to beat or how to stop uh, Brady the Gronk, period. And, um... You know, but, you know, early on, Ben came back down to score. Big throw to uh, Martavius Bryan. Um, you know, uh, Juju Smith Jr. stepped up. I mean, Eli Rogers caught the first touchdown. I mean, Bell ran like a man, you know. Um, it's one of the most patient and patient backs I've ever seen in my life. But, um, you know, what it came down to for most people was the last play. You know, one of the last plays with, um, when Jesse James didn't control the ball going to the ground, crossing the goal line. And if you looked at it when his knee hit down, to me, I thought they was reviewing that. It looked like he was shorter to go line, just an inch. But, you know, they had a timeout. I think they had a timeout or whatever. They could have stopped the clock. They had enough time to stop the clock. Even if they have a timeout, 10-second runoff, they had 18 seconds on the goal line. I would have believed in Le'Veon Bell getting in there. But Tony Romo kind of caught on. And somebody told him here to actually reviewing did he control the ball through the, you know, through the process, and he didn't. And that's the rule. I seen it with Calvin Johnson a few five, six years ago in Chicago. I've seen it with Golden Tate coming up short on the goal line. I've seen it um, another game this year. Um, a guy uh, was it the, the the Chicago Bears? John Fox actually challenged the play, and uh, and his guy they they end up uh, saying that his guy didn't control the ball and then went out the end zone. He didn't control the ball or whatever it was. These are the rules and these are the breaks to quote the great Curtis Blow. Um, you gotta live with it, you know. Now it seems like when it happens to Pittsburgh, everybody won't have an overreaction. I understand it's a nationally televised game, a lot of people watching. But other teams have been dealing with this for a long time. The the process, the catch process rule and, and all that other crap and crossing the plane. So I don't have any sympathy for any team that goes through that. My Detroit Lions have went through that plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? And um you know, I don't I don't care. It's the rule. Pittsburgh, I do deal with the rule, just like the, the Bears, the Lions, the Broncos, the Packers, whoever else got to deal with the rule. I have no sympathy. That's the rule. And it was indicative that was indicative of the rule, what happened with Jesse James. He should have controlled the ball. It shouldn't have bobbled. It wasn't a catch, period. And that's what you're living with. You know, if you want to boil it down and come down and with that one play, well, what about you guys stopping Gronk? You know, no Chris Hogan was there. You know, you can cry about, oh, A.B. was out. What, what did Chris Hogan do to the Steelers in the FC Championship game last year? Ate him alive. Wasn't no Julian Edelman there. So I don't want to hear the injuries excuses on the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, and I have nothing against Pittsburgh. Um, 
But, you know, those are the breaks, you know. Um, you had another opportunity. Your quarterback didn't make a mistake all day, but he made a mistake in winning time, in crunch time, in clutch time, whatever you want to call it. He threw the ball. He should have just spiked it. He tried to catch the defense on the heels. He said, fade, fade, fade. It must have been a cold word because somebody ran a slant. It got tipped by, I believe it was Eric Rowe, intercepted by Harmon, and that was all she wrote, you know. And a lot of people want to point to the last play, but let's point to the other plays of the game. You know, what about Gronk catching, like, what, 10 balls and going berserk in the third quarter and going into the fourth quarter? What about when y'all had Brady down, Stukowski, Gakowski, excuse me, missed a kick? There was plenty of plays they left on the field. You know, Pittsburgh is a very high, potent, high fire prior in offense, but they just put themselves in position to maybe have to go on the road in the second and in the AFC Championship round. And I'm pretty sure they don't want to go. I'm not saying that they will, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to see Jacksonville. You know, they don't want to see a team like that that um that's already beat them, that has the confidence, who seems to have the quarterback and the receivers to expose them, and who has the defense to match up with them, potentially with or without Antonio Brown. And, and if Antonio Brown's not, you know, he's out for even one playoff game, you know, they better pray to get a bye. I don't know what a ter- torn calf muscle um, time frame is. Um, you know, they might have some bad matchups, you know. But Juju Smith Jr. stepping up, Montavious Bryant, Eli Rock, they have some weapons. But if they get matched up, they don't get that first round bye. And they got to go play Jacksonville or, or or some one of those teams, it's, it's going to be tough on Pittsburgh, you know. Uh, but they should have a home game. It's always tough going to Pittsburgh. So we'll see. We'll see the, the what's going on with Antonio Bryant. But people want to cry they got robbed, you know, miss me with that. You know, my team got robbed plenty of times, Detroit Lions, on the, on the you know the full process of catching and controlling the ball. The Dez Bryant rule. It's the Calvin Johnson rule, trust me. First game of the season, uh, five, six, seven years ago, he caught the ball, and he, he used the ball to get up to celebrate, but they say he didn't have control of the ball. The Dez Bryant rule, the rules are the rules. Won't be changed for Dallas. Didn't get changed with Detroit. Shouldn't be changed with Pittsburgh. Let's not change this rule to accommodate one of the most historic franchises and, and the most championship wins. The rule is the rule. You didn't count. You didn't accommodate the Cowboys. Didn't accommodate the Lions. Neither the bear, near, neither the Bears. It is what it is. Congratulations, New England Patriots. We gone.